Hello and welcome to this new session about Azure Container Apps. As we continue our sample here, as you can see, we had React front-end application with the backend deployed and connected to Azure Container Registry and Azure Log Analytic Workspace. Later, what we have done or what are we going to do is we are going to add the backend as limited to only uh, to the front-end applications. So, what we are going to do exactly is to limit the access for the backend so we cannot see it and this is best practice and only the front-end applications will be connected to this backend. For that, we are going at first to see our um, front-end applications. We have two, a React application and um, MVC.NET application. And both of them, we will use this uh, URL of the backend. So let's try it on local machine in order to see our front-end application with the backend. Let's test it. So here, let's see uh, if what kind of problem we have. It seems we have course problems. This is because we are not allowing our backend uh, through the course uh, to be consumed from uh, other uh, frontend. For this, I will allow consuming uh, the frontend from this backend using the course. As you can see here, you can uh, deny, uh, you can give access to methods, headers, and origins, host names. So here I'm going to give access uh, via course to my local host 3000 and let's test again. Let's hard refresh the page or let's rerun the solution. Okay, npm start. And it should be working right now. Yes, it's working. As you can see, we here we have our results. Okay, so this is the React application that we have been uh, working with, and uh, this is uh, the URL of the front end application, as you can see here in our container app. Okay, let's stop this. We need to build the solution, push it to uh, to Azure Container Registry. And also we tag it before we do that. It seems I forgot to launch Docker. Okay, it's launched. And inside here we have our Docker file. We are going to build the solution as usual. Okay, great. Wait a few seconds. Okay, the build is going and we are going to push this to our um, uh, Azure Container Registry. Later, we will see in different, different um, samples or different video, we are going to see how to do the build using the Azure Container Registry. We are pushing the solution right now. Okay and the solution have been already pushed we can choose it the container right here as you can see here we can choose the image and image tag we can change the cpu and memory configuration and even more than that you can set environment variables let's create Right now, a new revision will be created that will contain the actual config that we have uh, created or put in place, which could contain this new image tag and new image version of this uh, product. And here we can see uh, the revision still not started yet. This is why we see zero. Okay. And right now the revision is started to be running. Okay, as you can see here, we have the results. Okay. 
okay we have the results and here we have the container and okay the solution is working as you can see and we can edit it every time here we can go back and change the revision as you can see here we have um every time we have make uh, changes to our solution we have different revision and we can go back or roll back and activate a different revision anytime also we can go here and uh, see the logs of the streams and we if there is a problem here we can inspect for example here i see that i didn't put the right link to the backend and ah i forgot to add the course to allow uh, access to uh, my react application i only added the localhost 3000 or we can add this and like that we can allow anything uh, from uh, a front-end applications to consume this um, this backend and like that we allow it all but remember that we have put our backend only accessible from uh, the application that are created inside the azure uh, container apps environment okay as you can see here we have the full application we still didn't we still did it not yet uh, put the backend in the uh, in the limited access uh, we are going to first to deploy the MVC application before doing this and we are going to need to test the MVC application too Here we have the .NET, API, uh, .NET MVC application. Yeah, we can actually use the Visual Studio code or Visual Studio Studio um, Visual Studio to in order to test it. I always prefer Visual Studio when working with uh, uh, .NET API application or MVC application have been working with Visual Studio for more like actually for nine years maybe and here we can see our docker file we have a simple uh, MVC application that contain controllers models and view and it will be consuming the API that we have created and still accessible from the external uh, users so here we have uh, parameters uh, in app settings the url that we are going to use and as you can see here we have our controller we have our app settings here we can set the url of our backend from here we can copy and paste it or later we can use the uh, azure container apps environment variable in order to uh, to change this url let's try to run the application oh oops it seems i have an es problem i will relaunch this another time one more time and build the solution and oh it's working as you can see here we have our mvc application as you can see we have the same results as we had in the react application and we are going to deploy this application to Azure Container Registry and use Azure Container Apps in order to run it. So this solution, uh, as you can see here, we have um, dev settings. I have put the UID here and here we have our Docker file and I have defined environment variable for uh, that URL that we are going to use in our application. What we need to do right now is only to build the solution and push it to Azure Container Registry in order to create a new Azure Container Apps that will host this uh, .NET application. So let's do this together. Okay, right now let's. Uh, I'm copying the code that I have prepared on my other screen and i'm going to build the solution first of all as usual we are going to build this and hope it will be quick oh uh, it seems i have a restore problem in one of my package and i need to upgrade from version 6 to version 7 because i forgot to update my docker file 
I have updated my configuration, but I didn't uh, update my Docker file. I will just upgrade it to version 7 SDK.7.0. And as you can see here, we are building the solution. Okay. The build is going great. Okay, we are building. Okay, now we have tagged and we are going to push this to Azure Container Registry. That's great. Right now, let's go and check our Azure Container Registry. Let's check here, repository. And as you can see here, we have our front and we see that we have pushed with the latest tag by default. Right now, what we need to do is to create a new Azure Container Apps inside our Azure Container App environment that will host this image of the MVC application. .NET application right now, we will configure uh, configure everything uh, as we configured the uh, React application. We will add here our um, image source that will be the new image that we have created, and the, we can configure the CPU and memory too. And let me check the port that I have exposed right here. It's eighty. Okay. So I will use the 80 later when we are going to configure um, configure the uh, ingress uh, for this application. Okay, we can set here the um, environment variables. This is what I'm going to do. So I will copy this in order to uh, configure our application in order to read the URL of the backend application that we have created. Okay. So this is uh, what are we going to add inside our environment variables. And this is auto configured in order to be uh, read, read from um, the Azure container uh, application. We can do tests. Uh, for example, we can do build and uh, inside the build, we can actually add um, environment argument in order to change that uh, the URL that we have defined inside our solution. Okay, so here let me create, uh, okay, let's check everything. We don't need to create it since we have already configured it. Let's configure the ingress and the port as we have seen, we, am, we are using 80. And here uh, you think, okay, create. And I think I have made a mistake. Uh, I forgot to change something in the parameters, but let's check our application if it's working or not. And I will, yes, I got 403 because uh, inside I think the ingress I have to forget something. The default configuration is the application I think limited. Uh, to only internal applications inside the environment and I think I forget to change that inside the ingress yes actually I forget to change this so I will accept traffic from anywhere from over the internet and let's refresh our page and the container is restarting it's updating that's why we still don't see any results it will maybe take a few seconds in order to be updated. Let's check this. Okay, it seems the update have been done and the container is, yes, it's working. As you can see here, we have the results that we intended to have. And like that, we have Two application, a React and MVC application, .NET application as front end using our .NET API application uh, backend and consuming it. This is great. So we have two different front end application uh, using that backend 
here they have react and here also we have the backend let's put this on different screens so we can see the different results that we have okay so here we have the front end application and let let's put here the react application we have on the top right screen we have the backend top left screen we have the mvc application front end and the uh, on the right screen below we have we have the uh, react application so what we have created actually here is uh, this uh, two front end application and back end and what we need to do right now is to limit the access to the back end application only to those two front end application for that we need to go to the back end application and limit access only to the apps inside the environment so what we need to see right now that we don't have any more access to the back end from external so we need to see this when we go to the backend and as you can see no more access to the backend it, it seems there is a problem with uh, uh, also the front end and let me check why we have this maybe i forgot something uh, about uh, the course and here let me check we can also put uh, a secure connection uh, maybe i need to uh, restart the front end application because we have a new revision okay i'm updating this and let me refresh the applications in order to see maybe the endpoint have changed it because i have uh, put this uh, only um, available for the internal yes it seems it's it's changed it as you can see here uh, the endpoint of the backend have been changed if i go it have internal dot internal so i need to update uh, that endpoint uh, in order for the front end application to read uh, from that backend so i will update this in the mvc application and test it so here i'm going to change it from inside the uh, environment variables and let's check if it will work so let's go here edit uh, add let's add environment variable and let's use and the new uh, internal link that have been uh, created so when you choose to limit access to that application it means a new link will be generated and we have to be aware of that let's use the variable that we have used here and let's paste that okay that's great okay that's great and right now it's deploying let's wait for the deployment and let's restart the application okay as you can see here the application right now is reading the internal link of the backend which is not external uh, accessible from the external users and it's giving us the results that we want so this is the application that's great that's great that's great we have an application right now that it's working the backend is secured and uh, this is what we intended to create uh, in our environment so we can add course as you can see we can add environment variables inside our applications we can limit access and this is what we have right now this is what we have created and uh, our backend is not accessible from for internal users now in the next step what we want to do is to remove that react application we don't need it anymore but we need right now is to add a container job and sql database what are we going to do for just testing we are going to create an azure portal azure sql database we are going to container app jobs 
we are going to create two tables inside the Azure SQL database. We are going to insert manually some data inside um, the SQL database, and we are going to see how we can use container app jobs in order to uh, move the data from table to another table as a job. We can configure it manually or automatically uh, per time. So see you in the next demo. Thank you.